let's start. Today we will see how to implement an RSI strategy in the TradingView Pine script. First, let's understand the strategy. When the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is between the 50 and 80 range, we will buy the stock. And when the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is below 50 level, we will exit the trade. Similarly, when the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is between the 50 and 20 range, we will short the stock. And when the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is above 50 level, we will exit the trade. Now, let's see the code. This is the strategy function with the name. RSI strategy. Then, we have used the input.int function to accept the user input for the lengths of the RSI and the average line. Then, we have used the RSI and EMA functions to calculate the RSI and the simple moving average. Then we have plotted the RSI and the simple moving average, along with zero, overbought, and oversold levels. Now, the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is between 50 and 80 range, we set the is long variable to 1, else we set it to 0. Similarly, if the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is below 50 level, we set the is short variable to 1, else we set it to 0. And for the stop loss, we use the stop long and stop short variables. After taking the long trade, if the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is below 50 level, we set its stop loss here. And after taking the short trade, the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is above 50 level, we set its stop loss here. Now, we have used the strategy dot entry function. The first argument is the ID of the entry. The second argument is the direction of the trade. Here we are taking the long trade. The third argument is the number of shares that we want to trade. The fourth argument is the condition and we want to initiate the trade, so we have used the is long variable here. And the strategy dot position size variable denotes how many trades are currently active on the chart. So we keep its value to zero, because we want to initiate a trade only when there are no pending trades on the chart. If we don't use the strategy dot position size variable then, the chart would be full of various unnecessary trades. Then, we have used the strategy dot exit function. The first argument is the ID of the exit. The second argument is the ID of the entry. This will be useful if we have multiple different entries on the chart. The third argument is the quantity to exit. And the fourth argument is the stop loss or the exit condition. This is the long trade entry and exit. Similarly, here we have programmed the short trade entry and exit over here. Let's add this strategy to the chart. As you can see, when the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is between the 50 and 80 range, we have taken a long trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is below 50 level, we have exited the trade. Similarly, when the RSI is below the average line and the RSI is between the 50 and 20 range, we have taken a short trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the RSI is above the average line and the RSI is above 50 level, we have exited the trade. An important note, in the trading view, the entry exit arrows are always shown on the next bar, because, the Pine script waits for that bar to completely close where the entry exit conditions satisfy, and then it shows the arrows on the next bar. You can check the strategy results in the strategy tester tab. So that's it. That's how you can implement an RSI strategy in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.